meet. I think it's been a long while. Yeah, like the whole of last year. Did we meet? No, I don't think. So. Yeah, no. Wow. <laughs> Where were you hiding? Where were you hiding? Because me and you, at least every year, we meet like twice or so to do our things. <laughs> not on radio, I mean, we don't meet any other. Oh. Last year. Uh, are you sure it's last year? Uh, that's why we are asking that's what well, that's why i'm asking that whether we met last year so where, where were you hiding if we never met where were you hiding oh no i've been around mm-hmm. i've been in ghana i was just at home mm. i've been inside <laughs> <laughs> you, you decided to take a break for music um not a break but um covid came anyway so it stopped a lot of things and so i just took the time to um you know work on myself mm. yeah meanwhile there was covid but still your colleagues were releasing mm-hmm. yeah most of them took advantage of even the situation knowing that people are at home they yeah. gave us small songs yeah uh-huh. so in your situation you decided not to at all um i just felt like i rather just come with a good song like a big song rather than just to keep releasing songs and then mm. trying to figure out which one is good mm. and i feel like me taking my time and having it the way i want to and everything would make me feel good so that's why i just took my time mm. yeah were you busy with electioneering campaign oh uh, not really <laughs> <laughs> because I, I know you were helping mom for mm-hmm. the constituency she won mm-hmm. what was your actual role what, what did you actually do um uh, i don't know i think <laughs> i made people like her i guess or like um mm-hmm. and then Zima, i went over there and i went there with chatawale as well mm-hmm. when i was getting close to the end of the campaign mm-hmm. and we were just there and we spent like two days there and just like with the people there mm. to help her so, yeah. so ca- can we say that um fantana's inclusion in the campaign also helped in your mom winning the jomoro constituency uh yeah i tell her all the time oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah you tell her all the time mm. that you contributed yeah in her winning so what does it mean you, you've taken your cut already <laughs> not yet but i have told her you've taken your cut of the s grasher in advance <laughs> <laughs> you, you, could you have done it alone for instance you are also an artist an established mm. name could you have done it there without shatawale's inclusion um yeah i've been there without him multiple times like because that's where my mom was raised so i just go there to visit my family members so whenever i'm there then the people are happy to see me so him coming also made it very mm. yeah, so nice. those times when you were going there alone were you performing because when shatter came he mm. performed i guess yeah he performed no i just spent most of the time like um helping out with stuff or i would go to like the hospital because there's only one hospital there so when there's time i would go there and help out with the stuff and like help out with the town stuff and everything yeah. but you didn't perform until no. came. <laughs> i didn't perform even when he came either. oh even when shatter came he did not perform but i saw you uh, with um, him uh, on, yeah. on the vehicle you guys were still in yeah. town you did that one but did not perform why <laughs> because i wasn't ready <laughs> <laughs> because you are also an artist you have some song and the stage mm. was prepared yeah mm. <laughs> the stage was prepared that mm-hmm. some of us would want to see you there yeah. you decided not to why what, what really was the advice oh nothing i just didn't want to i was tired and then it was like a long drive and everything and he didn't know he was going to perform either i think it was like a surprise thing and then mm-hmm. when he got there then he just went ahead and did it mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. in the near future are you also likely to contest that seat since now your mom has it maybe she will be able to have it in the next one or two election yeah. uh, calendar are you also thinking that one day you wake up and say after mom or maybe mm-hmm. after some time mm-hmm. you're also going for the seat uh yeah i thought about it a mm-hmm. few times mm-hmm. not now though but like maybe like second third <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you think one day you go for it yeah yeah one day i could go for it mm, are you are you preparing yourself are you learning uh, mm-hmm. what what are you doing so that you get prepared for that day um i go with her to like when she's going to uh, what it's sorry the constituency yeah constituency mm-hmm. in the par- parliament house mm-hmm. and stuff yeah to her office mm-hmm. and she teaches she shows me different things and she introduces me to like the other mps and stuff over there and i mm-hmm. just learn different things from them so mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. i see in the near future should mom advise that because of maybe the career she has started uh drop music to support her administratively since you have the skill and the know-how would you do that yeah of course i would do it you drop music like to support my mom uh-huh. yeah of course, of course. hey 
<laughs> but really, you mean this political thing? <laughs> just for her. Just for her. Yeah, just uh, for and her. when she is out of the scene, you are not going for it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's also a dangerous thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> it means you are giving y- your fans, you are not giving us that assurance mm. that oh, we should we should follow you with all the heart. No, time. you should have followed me without the heart. Time. Yeah. <laughs> but one day you just wake up and break our heart that you are going to do politics. You know? Oh, no, no, not anytime soon. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be anytime soon. Yeah. But it is likely to happen one day. Yeah, very far away <laughs> one day. <laughs> we are interested. We are following it up. Yeah. And again, at a point, you introduced something you called what, Skin by Fantana or so. Mm. Um, is it on the market already or it is yet to appear? Um, it's yet to appear on the market, but it's skin, my um, skincare line that I started during the COVID period. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 As in your own company? Yeah, my own company. Yeah. So it's registered skin by fantana yeah you've registered it or yet to no i registered it and is the product out of the market um it was but everything sold out and i haven't brought any more back yet no. oh, so you started selling yeah yes, I've already but started. it is on hold now yeah why what is happening i'm not you know like you, when it sells out you have to like restock and everything but mm-hmm. now i had to i'm back doing my music so i'm trying to mm. yeah mm-hmm. music is making you so busy <laughs> keeping you so busy so you're not getting mm. okay so you started it mm. looking at what you've also done in music the investment in music and the investment in the skin by fantana which one was bringing in huge revenue or big revenue oh i mean but like <laughs> but but i mean the skincare thing is a business so regardless people will buy it so it always comes so even if i restock it now and it sells out i have to keep restocking it so mm, yeah mm, mm. and where ladies especially celebrities where they also coming in to support because if it is a business of another celebrity i expect them to come in to support when, yeah. who came around to support you among your <laughs> friends in the music fraternity oh in the um, <laughs> because i know most of your friends they have a skin like you have mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so who came around to support the project i don't i don't know i don't i don't think it, i don't know unless maybe like you know when you're ordering it you don't have to use your name to order it so i don't know if maybe they ordered it through someone else or something but mm. not directly to me no mm. so, so what does it make you feel that you start something and your colleagues are not showing support what does it make you feel no i don't really care Mm-hmm. yeah i don't care. i don't care there's, there's a lot of people in this world so uh-huh. other people will buy it at the end uh-huh. of the day yeah oh not even just buying it alone maybe but supporting, supporting it. in yeah. terms of publicity right, just right, as right. they've been doing for other products they could also do it for skin by fantana yeah and, and personally i did not see anybody doing that's what i'm asking mm-hmm. or is it because you are not friends with them no i'm cool with them but for me like it's just biz- like business if you want to buy it buy it if you don't want to then Mm. yeah but were you also having plans to at least get some one or two people on board to come support the project because looking around i know there are more fair skin ladies in our music space in our movie space that you could have maybe called um mm. the uh, benedicta gaffa and co you could have invited all of them to be part of did yeah. you extend an invitation to them as well no i will because i started it like i was testing to see like how it would go and it went well so now like i will do everything and put more into it because when i first started i was just doing it to see like okay i have nothing to do during the COVID period so let me just try something and see how yeah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so we are waiting for it (laughs) let it come and we know what to do still let's go back into time still on fantana um at a point you also decided to go help children um should i call them children when your issue happened at the on the stage i think that one performance you had some wardrobe malfunction. she decided to do some part donation that you said you would continue are you still doing it or it's or it's also on hold oh no <laughs> <laughs> that one was just like uh, some like i went to a town that was a bit outside of accra i think mm-hmm. where they can't really get pads and stuff and so because that incident happened then um i got um invited to come over there mm-hmm. to speak mm-hmm. with them and everything mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then we donated like a lot of pads but it's something that i would want to start maybe like an ngo type of thing that i would mm-hmm. want to start with my name and everything like mm-hmm. yeah in the future okay so for now after the first one you've not done any again yeah but it is something you'd want One to see it yeah as an ngo in your name yeah fantana how would you call it <laughs> i don't know yet <laughs> <laughs> the usual fantana foundation or the ff <laughs> 
Are you going to do the usual way, the Fantana Foundation, or maybe yeah. you are going I'll to find a different name? You'll find a yeah. different name. Oh, I see. <laughs> I, I, I want you to do more of that because yeah. I, I loved that idea when I saw it. And again, there was an organization that supported you then, I guess. Yeah. Uh, why have you cut ties with them? Are oh, you... no, no. Whenever they do stuff and whenever there's things that are going on and maybe I can be involved in it, they reach out to me. So mm -hmm. they do a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now which record label I is Fantana on? Now that your comeback is real, which record label is Fantana working with now? None. I'm independent. Okay. I'm an independent artist, so I'm not signed to anyone. Okay, so yeah. where, where, for instance, when you go on to YouTube, uh, it is going to be Fantana Music, I guess. Yeah, just Fantana. Just Fantana. Yeah. And uh, you have all your old videos there? No, so all my old videos are still on Rough Town. Uh, Rough Town yeah, but anything that I release ongoing mm -hmm. is under my youtube channel yeah. from henceforth anytime, yeah, from henceforth, yeah. anytime you release something we will find it under fantana, fantana. Yeah. so what happens to royalties of the old videos oh like we of course we have an agreement and everything like when you're terminating you have agreements and how you're going to share everything and stuff like that so we're mm -hmm. fine on that mm -hmm. yeah. so if you've been receiving your fair share yeah all of us are <laughs> <laughs> calculation is going down yeah. the way you want <laughs> Sometimes listen to you, your songs, <coughs> you use more patois, patois in your composition. And I ask myself, um, is Fantana doing dance hall? What really is Fantana doing in terms <laughs> of uh, her composition and the genre that she would want to be recognized with? Um, so I'll say when I first started, I think I was trying every different type of sound. So like Afro B or maybe like Afro dance on everything. But I'm more of an Afro dance hall person. So I'm just going to stick to doing that. I feel like that's where I'm better off at. And it's not like I don't I don't have competition with anybody or anything. And I have peace of mind to just, you know, mm. do what I want to do. Mm. Yeah. So now we should categorize you under Afro dance hall. Yeah, Afro dance hall. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> are we about to listen to the new one <laughs> and i'm sure to confirm that and again when you were at rough town you used to be uh supported by bullet in terms of composition so <clears throat> do you have another person doing that now yeah so my manager too Raz, he actually already started writing songs for me while i was still on rough town mm -hmm. so he wrote um rich girl anthem new african lady back cyber and he also wrote the new one oh so now Turas is in that position yeah i see <laughs> he's a bad man yeah. <laughs> no no darling i i i saw the title i said oh yeah. could it be that i didn't know there was another no darling song in the system or what because there is another no darling song in the system by Keche. did you yeah. know about it yeah i like that song it's very nice but i also didn't want to change the title of my song oh, so i just okay. kept it yeah oh, oh so you knew about it yeah yeah their song is really really nice yeah but i didn't oh. want to change my title. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to share because that was the only option left or what no that's just what i felt like i wanted that like it stood out with the song and what the song is about and the content mm -hmm. and i didn't want to change it so mm -hmm. i just kept it D did you get your title before their song or you got it after their song um i don't know because i don't know when they recorded theirs but i know when i recorded mine so i would say like i recorded it months ago actually mm -hmm. and it was named that but mm -hmm. i don't know how long they had theirs mm. yeah. and, and ever since it came out have you gotten some one or two confrontations maybe from fans or from artists talking about oh there is a no darling which is hot in the system and fantana is also bringing another no darling any confrontation like that um no people don't really confront me people don't confront me. they don't confront yeah. you including men because that other said <laughs> men were even scared <laughs> he said men were even scared to confront mm. oh now the story has changed oh no they're still scared they're just there i don't know oh, uh, <laughs> i'm, I'm uh, nice uh, Maybe, maybe, Fantana, maybe you have to reduce the packaging some more. Maybe the packaging is so huge. That's why, that's why the guys are running away. <laughs> <laughs> but why, why do you think it is hard for men, especially? Let's talk about, let's ignore the fans not confronting you. Why is it so difficult for men to, why do you think it's so difficult for men to confront you? Uh, I don't know. Maybe my, like, my attitude is very, like, sassy. I don't know. So, like. You know, man, like if they say one, they don't want you to say two, but mm -hmm. I'm going to say two. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's going to go back and forth. Mm -hmm. yeah. So do you like that? Or, or you wish it wasn't, it wasn't like that? Um, it's cool that it saves me time from people talking to me for no reason. And then the people that can't talk to me, then that means it's worth talking to them because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but every lady, every lady would want to be 
appreciated every lady would want oh i went there and i saw guys were showing interest in me it gives them some confidence of a sort and in your case that no one is coming because maybe they are scared of something that's oh but i know that they like me like for me you don't have to tell me that you're interested i know you're interested how do you know because who wouldn't like me (laughs) (laughs) how do you know everyone likes me who wouldn't like me Mm. (laughs) <laughs> uh, that one that one you can't be so sure or is it, is it because they look at you so that that is to you your conclusion of they liking you um no but i mean like if you're looking at someone i just know mm. i just know yeah mm. or even mm. if you don't like me at least you know that i'm beautiful so yeah, yeah no yeah. for beautiful i'm not sure someone can even contest yeah. it you are so beautiful <laughs> the guy in your new video who is he oh he's a model mm-hmm. he lives in ghana but he's not ghanaian he's from guinea i think yeah he's from guinea yeah um was everything okay during the shoot yeah <laughs> yeah he was really shy yeah, that's yeah. what i'm about to talk about he that's was what very I'm about shy to talk about. <laughs> why was he shy i don't know see it's me i'm telling you <laughs> hey fatana that it will be very difficult for you to get a boyfriend though <laughs> or, or you have one package already oh, no you don't have one package already yeah but no i don't have one and now the guys are also scared to come forward mm-hmm. and you are you also double as a celebrity <laughs> and yeah, i bet you mm. but is your mom not requesting that fantana you are of age when are you introducing your boyfriend to me or something <laughs> is your mom not asking uh yeah she asked but i mean i tell her to relax just chill you told her to relax yeah soon Oh, <laughs> and wh- why was why, why was the model shy because personally yes i watched the video yeah and i saw it, i saw it clearly that's why i asked you was everything okay on set? yeah 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 he why was, was he shy i don't know he was really really shy like he was scared i don't know why though he didn't know you was that was that the first time he yeah that was the first time he yeah. heard about brand fantana that was the first time he ever saw me in person yeah. but he knew but about- he knew yeah but why did you also not give him more confidence like i did you tell know. him that oh bring your hand hug me touch me everyone was telling him to but he was just shy yeah okay next time next time please look for another guy yeah <laughs> look for one of the Ghanaian models mm, that are not shy yeah they, they won't be shy they will <laughs> surely come forward and the first time we met you also talked about your cooking abilities not being very on point therefore you'd want a guy who could cook for you and all that i know it has been some good years after <laughs> the first time has it improved has your cooking skills improved now yeah they have they have so now what can you do perfectly like what kind of food or meal can you pe- can you <laughs> prepare perfectly um it depends on what i feel like eating uh-huh yeah i can make stew uh-huh yeah i can boil <laughs> Oh, eggs, every, and i can talk. make stew and i can make rice you can make rice wow. <laughs> 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 who helped you who helped you in uh, polishing your cooking skills oh well during like the lockdown and stuff like i couldn't really like go out so i had to i had to force myself to um yeah. learn how to cook <laughs> yeah oh, okay so, so it happened during the lockdown yes yes mm. <laughs> <laughs> but, but when you started were you loving yourself what you were cooking what you were preparing no. you were not liking it <laughs> so once you were out a little bit what did you observe what observation did you make out of our industry um it was just dull you thought the industry was dull eh? yeah it was so quiet and stuff mm-hmm. nothing was really like going on so mm-hmm. i was just like yeah i was like okay <laughs> i'm gonna take my time then <laughs> <laughs> nothing is going on <laughs> oh okay so because you felt that the industry was dull there was mm-hmm. not even pressure on youtube yeah i just felt like there wasn't pressure since it's dull mm-hmm. when i'm ready to release then i'll just release and, <laughs> mm, and yeah. now is the time yeah how about performance have you also learned more performance Mm-hmm. yeah so i also took that time out too to um you know get over my shyness and my fear and stuff because i felt like the fear i had was overshadowing uh, my talent mm-hmm. it was holding mm-hmm. me back from mm-hmm. doing mm-hmm. like all the things i know i can do so i would say now my confidence is like mm-hmm. yeah of the roof. yeah so, so practically what were you doing how <coughs> did you learn practically what were you doing because i know some people they tell me oh they stand in front of a mirror yeah. they perform they shout how were you also doing it i yeah, wish that's to know. the best way Mm-hmm. like you just stand in front of your mirror and you jump and you shout and you just let everything out yeah <laughs> how long did you do that 
Oh, I mean, I kind of I do it every day, you know. But like maybe for like thirty minutes or twenty minutes, I'll just play different songs over and over. Mm -hmm. Asking your songs. Yeah, my songs, and then maybe like other dancehall songs, like other mm -hmm. artists, mm -hmm. bigger artists in Jamaica and stuff. Mm -hmm. I like to listen to them to also, you know, mm -hmm. learn different things. And, and, and after that, who marks you? After doing all that, who marks you to say, okay, today <laughs> you did fifty percent. Yesterday you did twenty percent. Who marks you? Myself. Oh.